Hey y'all, it's Taylor Nelson. Uh, today is the day. I'm heading out to Oregon, but my first stop is in Kansas. So I'm going to take you through the process of how I'm going to load my car up. This will be a first time for both of us. So get ready. So here you can see the driver's seat. Very nice and clean for the most part. Got my phone in one cup holder, but I also have a phone holder here, as well as a little air freshener there, and the passenger seat, that's where I have my computer, and uh, easy access to snacks, and in the back, I have one seat folded down, that way I can scoot up the ice chest and have room for more in the back, I've got my pillows here, and I've got my heavy weather jackets hanging up on my clothes hanger bar, and right down below, Right in that sack is my bedding and towels. Well, I got everything loaded, and it was hot and humid, but I did it. Let me uh, let me show you my progress and. As you can see, the front passenger and driver's seat are still pretty clean. Not a lot of stuff to get in the way. But here, we didn't do much either. Except you can see the cooler over there. And then, let me show you the back. Boom. That doesn't look like a whole lot because I managed to fit everything under in the empty wheel carrier. So I got my backpacks, my hydration packs, I've got uh, my galoshes, I've got a couple other things, but here we have the majority of my clothes with my boot, my boots in the uh, side saddles. I moved my car organizer higher up and put my essential storage inside the car, that way it won't get stolen. I put my hammock, duffel bag, and my seat, both seats, here. And then I got my tarp in the back. But what I'm most impressed about is this top luggage rack. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be, but oh my gosh, it's it can get hot. So hopefully none of my stuff bakes inside of it. So let me... Finish getting everything close up. I'll uh, throw my back on the back and get final pictures. And here we go. I've got everything loaded on, loaded in, and loaded in back of. So now, just gotta eat lunch and then I'll be on the road.